reached the end of the course. Great! But you might still have some big questions left. In this part, we will try to integrate the findings from the course. Summarizing and abstracting, we'll add some final thoughts about being critical, trusting, and finding a balance between the two. One of the aims of this course was to provide tools to support you in being critical about the things you hear and read all day, where people make claims about how the world works. Sometimes you'll find there's no solid basis for making these claims. We have covered some areas where a closer inspection may help you find the shaky bits on which a claim could be based. This means you can now be critical in assessing the claim of others and look more closely at claims before you decide whether to believe them or act accordingly. On the other hand, though, this course is also about trusting. We've also covered the perspective of how to build solid insight and reasoning on which robust claims can be based. That means this perspective can help you gain trust in scientific insight, if done right and interpreted right and reported right. It truly paves the path of pushing the borders of our knowledge and our understanding. But how do you combine this critical and trusting attitude? It is definitely about finding balance. Surely, in your everyday life, you won't have the time to critically follow up on every single claim you see, to find out if it's trustworthy. Sometimes you might not even want to know if there are shaky bits to some claims you are being confronted with. Sometimes it might not even be very important for you to know the truth. Nevertheless, when it does matter, such as when you're making decisions that could have a big impact on things you value, let's say your health, your finances, your relationships, your voting decisions, your career choices, and so on, in those cases, you might want to look more closely. In science, we have to take the most rigorous route towards the truth that we can. And while we work on getting to the next big shift in understanding how the world works, we need to be rigorous in applying the methods we currently rely on. This course has given you an overview of one of the most important scientific methods at the moment, experiments. So thank you for taking a look at how experiments work and why they are pretty great. Have fun applying your knowledge. Finally, I'd also like to thank the many supporters of this course who've helped me make it happen with their support and feedback, their suggestions, their time and ideas, and their technical skills, their connections, and their financial support. Thank you. <laughs>